This is a summary video of the clay shrinkage section in my clay memory and movement article. More details can be found in the article itself on my website at fireverseceramics.com. There's no way to avoid clay shrinkage. Clay has a moisture content that will evaporate through both drying and firing, and this will result in a noticeable difference in size. Most clays range between 10% to 13% in lost size, but you'll need to learn your own clay shrinkage percentage to allow for it with everything you make. Size is lost at every step of the way, although some processes will change more drastically than others. For instance, the piece will shrink more in a gloss firing than it will in a bisque. This is important to know if you are creating a mould from your piece, as it's not a direct progression from air drying to bisque to gloss. Instead, it's air drying and bisque of the original carving, air drying and bisque of the mould, and then air drying, bisque and gloss firing of the copy. In total, I lose over 20% from an original design to the copy that's ready to be sold. You can see the practical difference with each of these stages of my Speak Friend carving. Shrinkage needn't be an issue. It can actually be helpful in some ways, but it is something that we have to keep in mind so we're not disappointed when our end product is substantially smaller than we were expecting. Join me for my other two-minute tutorials, or check out my website for articles, examples, and product reviews.